opinions and stories around the game we love told by your favorite storytellers stay up to date with all things cricket subscribe to crick buzz's youtube channel and press that bell icon now how about australia they've used six fast bowlers in the series it's actually more like what india did in australia last year australia relied on the big four but they're rotating at this time and scott boland looked right at home on the big stage on day one I thought he bowled really well. You know, you can't uh, underestimate how nervous he would have been being a local Victorian guy playing his first test match here at his home ground at the MCG. There would have been a lot of butterflies. But he looked calm and he looked in control. He looked like someone had a good handle on his own game. And, you know, it took him a while to pick up his first wicket. But once he got that wicket, you could just see how happy he was and just relaxed into the rest of the day. Took a couple of handy catches yep. as well. The, the team looked like they really made him feel a part of it as well. So I, I think he'll be absolutely delighted with the way he started. Yeah, a lot of special moments as well. The baggy green presentation from Josh Hazelwood, the welcome to country, a real impactful moment with Arnie Joy here before play. Everything went right for Scott Boland. Australia batting before the close. Anderson nicks off Warner, nice piece of bowling. But to me, it felt a bit like, I'm sorry to say this, 11 years ago when England bowled Australia out for 98 and they started batting and it looks like it was a flatty. Well, Australia, with the exception of the Warner wicket, were doing as they pleased before the close of play. Yeah, well, I think Marcus Harris would have been really nervous yeah. having to come out to bat tonight. There's been a lot of talk about his position in the team under a lot of pressure, but he looked good. Uh, Warner, well, he just does what Warner does. He, he, he scores so quickly. He seems to find the gaps all the time and um, got Australia off to that flying start. Automatically, that puts the pressure back on England and their bowlers. I'm sure England would have been talking before that innings to say, OK, come on. Let's keep it tight. Let's pick up a couple of early wickets. We can do what Australia did to us. But Warner just comes out there and just takes the game away from you so quickly. So, you know, it, it's it's a good start for Australia. You know, 61 for just the loss of one wicket. Still some big guns to come. But England have to regroup. They have to regroup and regroup quickly. Come out with that positive mindset tomorrow because this is where the series is. It, it, it's, on, it's on tomorrow. It, the whole series is on tomorrow.